All right, this is Robert Forsh with the YouTube channel Truth. I'm on my way to the Cherry Grove Fishing Pier in front of the Prince Resort in Cherry Grove, South Carolina here. It's uh, just a couple miles away over that direction. And what I want to help you consider is the truth about everything, whatever you want to know about. I've got a resource library that includes my YouTube channel and other social media platforms that I'm on to expose the reality of the world we live in to a population that largely is unaware. And I'm wanting to uh, help inform individuals on anybody who will listen, even those that maybe aren't eager to listen at first can uh, check out my uh, research library that is a compilation of talented producers from all over the world. I'll take this out to the beach so that people can see it. Give me a call if they like, if you like. I got a, a new rig for my uh, camera here to support it. I went to the uh, motorcycle vendors rally um, part at uh, the Barefoot Landing. And it was incredible. This uh, rig that I got was the last of its kind and I was able to acquire it, which made a huge difference in what I do and how I do it. So I wanted to go ahead and put my camera on in such a way that I have less obscure vision when I'm driving and uh, oh, I can hear the humming of the strap already at a low speed. <laughs> that might be too much, uh, but I'll, uh, I'm going to let it run for now and let's see what happens when we go to the, uh, that's the non- uh, wide angle lens. Now I can't uh, flip the camera around when I'm doing a, a direct recording with my phone. However, then I'm not uh, I'm not relying on the transmission of data from my phone. I think that might be a little bit much. Yeah, that's probably going to be too much. That uh, that vibration there. It's a harmonic type situation. So what I'm gonna do is, um, let's see, I'll, I'll flip the strap around. I'm gonna see if just one simple turn uh, does it. I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I'm gonna tie a couple of um, rags on it.
I have the board secured very well and I didn't want to mess with that right now. I think, or I believe just uh, putting the, uh, wrapping the straps with the rag will do just fine. I'll give it a try. And it may seem like it might be more than an irritation uh, to have the hum. It can be more than that. I've got a cracked sunroof or moonroof that it has uh, tape on it, uh, clear Gorilla tape that is uh, providing some, uh, how would I say, strength to the package. There's also, it's safety glass and it's got impact resistant polymers in the glass so that's kind of interesting I didn't want to see it um, go ahead and shatter so we've got the fall bike rally happening right now in Myrtle Beach and people come from all over to visit here and and ride, it's it's pretty interesting. I'll go ahead and expand that a bit and see how how that is. This is also uh, oh like a, an experiment uh, to evaluate the sight and sound, how this works out. So like this morning. When I when I got up, I checked to see if the volcano was still erupting in a in La Palma. Apparently, it is. Keep in mind the technology exists to make it look like a live feed when it's not. So, uh, apparently, the um, current administration has stated that they would not warn us if a tsunami was on its way. Would everybody stick to that? Would somebody at the meeting say, yep, yeah, I'm going to have to tell, I'm telling. <laughs> so that, that's kind of where I'm at with all this. I'm, I'm telling. It's show and tell for adults. The topics on my research library are, are very di diverse. And it's not just my opinion on things. I actually share the videos that have been created by many of the individuals perpetrating this uh, draconian lockdown, human ens enslavement of humanity, helping us pay for our own enslavement. And I'm the guy wanting to help set people free because I've been set free by the Spirit of God, the true God, the true Creator, not one of the snake oil salesmen and charlatans offering false hope and another gospel. I've got a good friend that I talk to regularly and we were joking about it. We didn't sign up for, I said, we didn't sign up for prosperity. We signed up for being eternal life, uh, being rejected, ridiculed, and hunted down and killed like animals eventually. If you look at the uh, book of Revelation talking about how those that are uh, God's true children will be uh put to death and those that do it are going to believe they're actually doing a service to God, for God. So some people will blame Christianity on the on the dark ages where people were hunted down and, and killed and the witch trials and all that type of thing. It's it's all been a perversion of, of humanity and a perversion of the true scripture the teaching of the Word of God, the true teaching of the Word of God. What is that? Well, that'll be for you to, to try and figure out as it relates to your own working out your salvation with fear and trembling. So you may, um, the, the world, the humanity is dining on a veritable 
spiritual smorgasbord where people take a little of that, this or that. Uh, they may have a very different than biblical belief in what's going on in this world, and that certainly is their prerogative. Apparently, I'm constrained to love the truth, to know and love the truth and share the truth. So that's what I do. As best I can, I'll share the truth with anybody who wants to know it. Wanted to kind of center that. When I'm on the wide angle view, it uses multi cameras. This is the iPhone 11 Pro Max without a, a remote mic. It's just the standard microphone, so I wanted to test all this out, see how it works. And on some of my broadcasts that I've done mobile, I would have a problem with the microphone, a problem, whatever, whatever microphone it was. And then uh, there would be problems with transmission of data. Not, not as much anymore, but the uh, sometimes there still is, depending on the locality and, and what's around. Right now we've got a, uh, a mesh network of overlapping frequencies that involve technology I'm aware of and probably some that I don't know of. We've got cellular wireless data and voice signal all over the place and apparently Starlink and other so-called satellites but there's also a lot of base stations for those so-called satellites. What it can be is bouncing uh, signals off of the dome. In fact there's resonant frequencies that can be bounced off of the the dome, the firmament, hashtag firmament in Genesis 1 and you can see uh, that they, they can even cause earthquakes and uh, resulting volcano eruptions. That's one of the reasons why I'm keeping an eye on La Palma in the Canary Islands, because if, um, if there's a fracture in the crust that's really close to the volcano next to the ocean, there could be uh, an absolutely explosive result with, with steam uh, water hitting the uh, the lava feed there by the land and blowing a big chunk of the island out into the Atlantic Ocean where we may see no event here on the East Coast or potentially a large tsunami. How could I know? I don't. I'm just, I've got my, when I get home I put the car in the garage. That's why some people in our neighborhood thought I moved. I said, no, I just was able to uh, organize things so I can put the vehicle in the garage. It's a security measure as well. Because of the nature of what I'm doing, I'm exposing people that in some cases kill the truth tellers. So there's quite a body count around the truth tellers. They kill them. But I'm, I'm a dead man walking anyway from the standpoint of the old me that I was died. Now the born again, Christ filled uh, child of God that I am isn't, to, I'm not afraid to live, die or tell the truth. And that's supposed to be, as far as I can tell, one of the examples of the new nature is I can go relatively fearlessly through this world because the, the enemy of my soul can't kill me only stop the function of my body, at which point I don't have to deal with uh, uh, the, the mess that this world is. And soon, none of us will have to either. About a quarter of a million people die every day, and there are events in play, in effect right now, which is largely reducing the population catastrophically. It's a, it's a collapse, a, a great reset. They're not kidding. Those that are promoting transhumanism and the integration of humanity and technology are looking at, at uh, uploading themselves to the internet, uh, to the cloud, and I believe that's, that's a real thing. Um, I'm in, if you're watching this right now, it's up in the cloud, okay? And whether you're watching it, watching it or not, it's still there, potentially unless it gets taken down. Right now, this is a recorded video 
so it doesn't necessarily show people where I am at this time. Unless somebody saw me driving the car or see me face to face, they might think I'm still at home. Could be. It's a security measure. But I'm about to go to a place that's very public with a lot of cameras and I've already driven through many cameras. The Truthmobile is very recognizable. That tower right there, that's more than a water tower. It's got many, it has many times types of electronics and standby power generation for it. So it's not only microwave microwaving the neighborhood that I'm even going to be using for cellular connection. It's also microwaving the people and the water, the water in the tower, the water in the people, all of that. It's virtually inescapable. Ooh, there's a kind of a nice uh, rocking chair. You know what? I think I'm going to grab it. Yep, sure am. I'm at least going to take a look at it. That's how I got the last one. This is pretty nice. So it's actually a high quality maple rocker like the one my mom and dad had when I was a boy. No kidding. I wouldn't kid about that. It's going to take me a minute to load it, but it's worth it. Yeah, I've got a trunk it, it's too big.
So it's probably worth uh, mentioning and showing you. So I will. Because it's close to the first of the month, things like rocking chairs and that kind of thing um, end up making it on the roadway and motorcycles are, it's, it's more vulnerability. So when I'm driving my motorcycle and there's uh, a vehicle with a lot of stuff in it, like a truck, sometimes that stuff will go flying out. Pretty uh, dangerous it can be. So the, the rocker is in there nice and secure. I could even take it out on the beach for a photo op if I wanted, but I don't, I don't reckon I will. This uh, rocker reminds me of the one my mom and dad had when I was uh, a young boy, about uh, 10 years old, a Canadian maple rocker. It's beautiful. It needs uh, a couple of pieces glued, but it's in real solid shape. And that's one of the reasons somebody put it out there like that. Because it, they were transferring, they were recycling it, putting it out there for the truth guy. They probably didn't know who was gonna get it. But if they go to the beach here, they might see it in the trunk. <laughs> and, and it's like everybody knows you don't go surfing with your rocking chair. So I, I got to find on the, on the side of the road. And there's a fishing tournament today, interestingly enough. Yes, there's a spot right there. Uh, for compact cars only and people with uh, rocking chairs. They should be able to get in their vehicle if they need to. I'm not sure if I'm gonna stay out for the, the whole day. Yeah, see, I could uh, take this all the way home. That's my um, my toe strap or my um, tether for my surfboard. I'm going to do it better on my way home. But it's good for now. Got me here. Ah, oh, there's my friend John down there. So it's... Uh, it's a beautiful day. Thank you for uh, watching my videos. Please uh, put the hashtag and my name in a search if you like. In a Google search, we'll give you the most results if you like to check that out. And you can call me anytime. So thank you so much for all of your public and private encouragement. The uh, kind words that y'all share with me. I appreciate that as well. Yeah, see, my car isn't really a compact, but it's in there far enough. Sometimes I, I don't really um, follow the rules. <laughs> Imagine that. So, this will be my finishing shot.